I'm Justin Chang, film critic for the Los Angeles Times, and this is my review of Driveways, a lovely new independent drama featuring one of the last screen performances by the late Brian Dennehy. You can watch it this week on VOD platforms like iTunes, Prime Video, and Google Play, and you can also stream it at filmrise.com. You don't have any grandkids, right? My daughter is engaged to a lady friend. They're too old to have kids, so... <laughs> My mom had to tell me about, about sex and how babies are made because kids will ask dumb questions like, like, do you know what a blowjob is? And they would laugh at you because you don't know. Excuse me? What? I farted. Bad. It happens. Driveways is an exquisitely simple and moving story about people coming together under imperfect circumstances and somehow fitting together perfectly. Hong Chow and Lucas J play a mother and her eight-year-old son, Kathy and Cody, who temporarily move into the house of Kathy's late sister in order to clean it out and put it on the market. Cody a shy, sensitive kid who doesn't make new friends easily, starts hanging out with Dell, the Korean war vet who lives next door, played by Brian Dennehy. Through small but meaningful acts of neighborly goodwill, the two forge a strong friendship that gradually coaxes Cody out of his shell and causes both Dell and Kathy to reflect on their own blessings and disappointments in life. Stories about a gruff old loner and a cute, precocious kid are a dime a dozen but Driveways is too subtle and smart and beautifully acted to be reduced to a formula. It was written by Hannah Boss and Paul Therene and directed by the Korean-American filmmaker Andrew Ahn, whose gift for emotional subtlety was already on display in his excellent coming-of-age drama, Spa Night. There are no forced or false beats here, no big moments or explosive revelations, just sharply drawn characters, a deeply grounded sense of place, and scene after scene that brims with emotional truth. Driveways is a lovely reminder that still waters run deep, in life, as well as in the movies. I'm Justin Chang for the Los Angeles Times.